Welcome to lesson number two. Let's go to third person cover uh, scene. It's in third person cover shooter template folder scenes and uh, press on third person cover. Okay, it's loaded. Uh, let's go to our cowboy guy. Now we're gonna replace this cowboy with our survival character. It is more realistic. Let's go to survival character folder and uh, go to mesh and survival character high. Oh, actually we can go to prefabs survival character high and drag and drop into a scene. can increase its size a little bit. Let's go over here and model scale factor. Let's do 1.2 so it matches our cowboy. It'll take a while. everything from this cowboy to our character uh, we could do this way like add component everything from scratch but uh, it would take uh, uh, more time so I decided to make this tutorial shorter so and easier but if you want to go deeper uh, you can find uh, uh, tutorials where it describes everything uh, about uh, uh, those components. So now let's grab this character animator. Let's go to our guy and drag it to controller slot. Uh, we don't need this one. We can disable it. Now what we need the rigid body. I'm just copy component component is new and uh, if we add it like uh, this way uh, I'll show you what's the difference for example I'm adding rigid body this way and you see the mass is one and there are no constraints and on this one we have constraints and we have different mass mass so we could do copy component we can do this way as well, paste component values. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna copy everything. Copy, paste, sounds, copy. Three. 
we skip an actor because once we add the third person uh, controller it adds automatically actor Set on death, so once you die, the scene uh, resets. Character health for the health, so you can set how much health your character has, regeneration, etc. Uh, platform, so you can walk on moving platforms. Uh, we will not use face for uh, this one so because uh, this character doesn't have the uh, same blend shapes as this one so uh, it would take us uh, some time to make it work but maybe we will do in polish phase uh, of our uh, uh, tutorials so maybe we will create that uh, your character once it shoots uh, it, it, it changes his face, maybe more angry, um, etc. Okay. Okay. What else left? And we have the health platform phase. Exit to escape. Uh, this one. So when you press uh, escape, it closes the the game. Uh, this one is easier to use uh, uh, when you need to set up a character because uh, in editor when you press play your mouse gets uh, locked so when you press escape it unlocks your mouse and you can uh, modify uh, when we start uh, to work on the weapons it will be a very useful feature to have Okay, and character motor, I'm just gonna copy only values. Character motor, base component values, you see values changed, and also third person controller, copy, and let's go. Yep. And now I think we can start playing with our character. Let's disable this cowboy. And now let's uh, go to the main camera. And here you see main camera's target is cowboy. We need to change it to our character. And now camera will follow this character. Okay, let's press play. And now you can see it works. You can run. You can take cover. Maybe our character is too big. Uh, now I'm thinking. Yep, it's too big for this cover. So let's reduce its size. You can reduce its size uh, by scaling also. Just like this. It's better to reduce size uh, like I showed in the beginning. Mm, now it's fine. Oh, maybe it's still a little too big. Original size to one. Okay, let's try again.
Okay. Now they can shoot his back a little bit ahead. So maybe let's reduce its size even further. video in lesson 3 we will add a pistol and we'll be able to shoot at those guys for example